me there's a few things you should know and Cuban coffee is definitely on the top of that list. But hey, not to worry, this Miami girl's got you covered. After all, I was raised on Cuban coffee. First things first, this is a ventanita. It's an open window at restaurants where you simply walk right up and order your Cuban coffee or your cafe cubano. Many places, it's a hola, a social gathering, and you'll see many of them around Miami. So here's where things get tricky. You just don't order a Cuban coffee. There's a cafecito, a colada, cortadito, and cafe con leche. Yes, they're all made with Cuban coffee, but you have to know which one you're ordering. That's why I'm here to help. Let's start off with the strongest, a cafecito, but there's a right way and a wrong way to order it. Smile, be polite, and say, Hola, un cafecito, por favor. Translation, hi, a cafecito, please. Aquí está el cafecito. So this is a famous cafecito, and although, yes, it is the Cuban version of an espresso, do not ask for an espresso. It's a single serving of Cuban coffee, but don't let its size fool you. This is potent, it is sweet, it is strong, it is hot, and it is full of caffeine. It'll keep you up for hours. Perfect to have before the big game or maybe the morning after. Colada. Next, this is a colada, not colada, colada. I like to call it the dad of the cafecito. As you can see, it's bigger. It comes in a foam cup with little cups to share with your friends. And trust me, you show up anywhere with this, the people will love you. So remember, a colada is to share. This serves five people. You drink it as a shot, not the whole thing. Trust me, you don't want to drink the whole thing. If you drink the whole colada, you're going to be talking a mile a minute. Your friends are going to be driving you crazy. They're going to tell you to stop talking and shut up already. So remember, a colada is to share. Cortadito. Next, the cortadito. It's half milk, half Cuban coffee, the sugar already added. It comes in a medium-sized cup, good enough for one. Café con leche. And finally, café con leche. I like to describe it as the Cuban version of a latte. It's mostly milk with a shot or two of Cuban coffee. Most people have it for breakfast. It's delicious, but my favorite way to have café con leche you order tostada cubana, Cuban toast, they're real thin, you dunk it in, it's delicious. Remember, drinking Cuban coffee is a social activity, so head on over to your favorite ventanita, gracias, and enjoy a taste of Miami while making some local friends along the way.